Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do it is going to be my recommendations for the Sephora Spring Savings event. Oh uh, yes, I have some makeup to share with you, some skincare to share with you, some new products, some old staples. We just have a lot to get through today, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I did want to say quickly that I did some filming on this look with the new ColourPop Lizzie McGuire eyeshadow palette, so that will be going up on my IG Reels. I got my new Dear Reader sweatshirt on, Bridgerton, even though I'm not real happy with Bridgerton these days, but I spent a lot of money on this sweater, and it still matches my nails at this moment, so we're just, we're, it's fine. Let me tell you about the Sephora Spring Savings event. So the dates uh, should start today as this video is going live, which is April 9th through the 19th for uh, Sephora Rouge members. Rouge is 20% off and they have first access. Then VIB has 15% off April 13th through the 19th. And then Beauty Insider gets 10% off the 15th through the 19th of April. And the code that everyone will be using is OMG Spring. Those are the dates. Now let me jump into some of the products. So like I said, I have some new products and some older staples. I do have a full Sephora playlist, so I will link that in my description box if you want to check out some other ones. So I try with these videos to not mention the exact same products like every single time. So I'll link my playlist if you want some more recommendations. I have some really recent Sephora videos, including uh, recommendations and like follow-up hauls. Some recent products that I've been trying I did a Sephora haul pretty recently. I shopped right before the sale was announced, but that's okay. But I've really been enjoying some of the products. One is from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out for me because I do have combo oily skin. So since it said it was a glow hydrator, I was like, is it gonna be too much on me? But I do really like tinted moisturizer style of products, especially as I'm personally going into the warmer months. Uh, so I really wanted to give it a try and I've been hearing some good things about it. It won on my poll that I did on my Instagram stories and I really have been enjoying it. The shade that I grabbed is 41 Light Medium. It's a little, it's like a tad too dark for me right now but I've been able to be outside with Aries. She's literally sleeping right next to me. I've been able to be outside with Aries the past like three days because it's been really nice here in Iowa. So I feel like this will be a good like summer shade for me. Uh, but I've been really enjoying, I think my skin looks nice. It looks glowy without being oily. Cause you know, there's a difference. There's a difference between glowy and oily. And I feel like I just look glowy and fresh. I really like the finish to it and it's not too much, especially for my combo oily skin. So I've really been liking that one from Urban Decay. This next one, I didn't, it's not, hmm, it's not that I thought I was going to like really dislike this product. I was like, I'm just not sure it's going to be one for me. This is from Danessa Myricks. This is the Color Fix Glaze. I have the shade Cupcake. Um, yeah, I've really been enjoying this one a lot. I have a video on my Instagram Reels once again uh, using this as a blush. This is why I bought this. It says that you can use it on eyes, lips, and cheeks. I really bought this to be a blush, and I like it so much. I'm not really into liquid and cream blushes all that much, but I've definitely been tiptoeing over to the other side and so I really wanted to purchase something from Danessa Myricks. They didn't have the contour balm that I wanted yet on the Sephora website and I was like, you know what? I'll just go with this and see how it goes. I've actually really been enjoying it. It's very easy to blend out. I know this isn't a new product, but it's new to me uh, and I've, yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I would recommend. Let's just, I was gonna talk about something else, but I just, let's just hop into this because I have another blush to recommend. And what do you know, it's a cream blush. Interesting. So this is from Rare Beauty, and this is the Nearly Neutral Blush, the Melting Blush. Okay, yeah. I've really been enjoying this also. What has happened to me? I don't know what has happened to me. I'm just extremely baffled. This is really nice though. From the moment that I started trying this blush, I was like, Okay, and for Rare Beauty, the first launch of products, I really didn't love as much. You know, the liquid blush, the liquid highlight, I was like, ah, this just like really isn't my thing. But I'm interested in the brand. I think the packaging is beautiful. I like the message behind the brand. So I wanna keep trying, you know, just because I don't like one or two things from a brand doesn't mean like I throw the whole brand away. So I was like, let me give it another try. 
really impressed with this blush in nearly neutral i think it just applies so well i've been wearing it so much and also from rare beauty i purchased this at the same time this is their uh like gloss balm yeah something like that it's called nearly neutral also this is really pretty too i've been very impressed with this i mean i would say it's a glossy balm i really do like the the color i mean again nearly neutral and then once you start to like sheer it out blend it out a little bit i think it's really pretty uh and i like the finish to it i like that it makes my lips a little bit glossy i i, I definitely like this more than the lipstick that they came out with the first time too so I've been really happy with these. I would I would definitely recommend them. All right, another lip product I want to recommend is from Lawless Beauty. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I've really been enjoying this one. I have worn it so much. It really does plump up your lips and make them look larger, but without any sort of tingling sensation because I don't always love that. Like I I've talked a lot about the Too Faced lip injections. I really don't like those. Like literally I've had tears in my eyes wearing them. The e.l.f. Chipotle Gloss definitely makes my lips look bigger like I truly was getting asked if I did get lip fillers when I wear that gloss and it definitely has a tingle to it but not as much as the Too Faced this you still get that effect but without any sort of tingling which I really do like and it's just beautiful and every time I wear it I get compliments on my lips I think that it's beautiful so I've mentioned this as like a top pick in some of my ranking videos I think that it's so good I know it sells out a lot too so if you really want it and you see it available I would like to maybe grab it <laughs> all right I do also want to mention the LYS bronzer again this is a bit of a newer product to me I purchased this along with the uh, Danessa Myricks that order and the Urban Decay so this is the No Limits matte bronzer I got the shade medium I initially thought medium might be a little bit too dark on me but it blends out super smoothly I've really been liking this one too if you this this is this one I, I feel like I haven't used quite as much as like the Danessa Myricks blush or especially the Urban Decay um, tinted glow but I still wanted to mention it I just want to say that I haven't tried it quite as much as some of the other products that I'm mentioning but with the sale coming up if you were curious about it I mean I've used it a handful of times uh, so I feel pretty confident in my review saying that that it blends super easily it's very buildable and so far I've really been enjoying this one from LYS I do also want to mention the spray here from Ben. I literally have everything in my lap. We got a different lighting situation. We got a different background. We got no table. We got everything in my lap right. Things are happening. We're making we're making it through. Um, this is from Benefit. This is the Professional Super Setter. I also spoke about this in my latest uh, ranking all of the makeup that I've been trying this month. And I really did enjoy it. It says it's a long-lasting makeup setting spray. I have already used so much of this product i really like that it has a super fine mist on it and it really does seem to help make makeup last especially with me having combo oily skin sometimes i get a little bit shinier throughout the day or makeup can kind of slip a little bit more quicker on me and i feel like this has been a really good one so i've been impressed with this okay these products are really really new to me so again i like i'm putting them out here because i want to mention them because i've really been liking them and you know it's the sephora sale video but I, i'm just letting you know that i've only used each one of these one time so take this with a grain of salt if you will but charlotte tilbury just came out with brow products yesterday i used the brow cheat and today on my brows i have the brow lift i initially went with the brow cheat because i thought that i would like this one more uh because this one has it, it's just a smaller more precise brow pencil it still has a little bit of a teardrop shape to it but it is pretty small and i really did like it i will have if it's not already up i'll have on instagram reels doing a demo with it and you have the spoolie on one side this is a refillable product so you can actually pop it out and then just purchase the refillable side so the pencil is 25 the refillables are 15 and i really did like that idea it's interesting because today i use the brow lift and I don't know if I want to say that I like it more than the brow cheat, but I like it as much. And I just, I really thought this was going to be the one that I was going to enjoy. But I also had a super easy time using this one. So this one's a little bit larger, a little bit more like waxier, I would say, which I don't always love. But once again, I just felt like it was really easy to use. I feel like my brows look, you know, decent. I'm not like a brow master, but like I think that they're passable. Uh, I was really impressed. I was a little bit surprised because I just... I, I almost didn't use it. I almost used the brow cheat again and I was like, let's just try it and see. You have the spoolie on the other side too. 
um yeah so i've been really enjoying these so again i just want to say one time each so you know take it with, with a little tiny little baby grain of salt but i thought that i would sneak it in here because so far i've been really happy with these some older favorites to chat about again i, I feel like i talk about my favorites a lot in my videos so i just narrowed it down to five for this one um so the nars pot concealer big fan um i have the shade creme brulee and this is the soft matte concealer highly recommend especially if you do struggle with acne um, or like covering pigmentation on your face this is truly one of the best uh, i have been recommending this for such a long time but i think it's fabulous i uh, also wanted to mention the dior backstage face and body foundation uh, this one is a very light coverage foundation so i tend to wear it once again in the warmer ones warmer months when i'm going for a lighter coverage or a tinted moisturizer like the Urban Decay. But I've been finding myself reaching for it once again, even though the shade is still, it's my summer shade, which is 2.5N. It's more of my summer shade and we're not quite there yet, but I'm like, it's fine. I don't care. So this is still a really good one. It's like standing the test of time. Standing the test of time. Did I say that right? Standing the test of time. Yeah, I think that's right. This one isn't like a super older product, but I've been talking about it for a few months now at least. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. Uh, I don't have it on today. I actually wore it yesterday and I was trying to, I was hoping to film this yesterday and then I forgot that my lighting situation is different and I can't just film whenever because now I only have one light and it's still probably awkward lighting <laughs> and it just got to be too late. And I was like, dang it. And then I had to wear a different mascara today. I was like, wow, shoot. But the Urban Decay Lash Freak, I think is so good. I know not everyone loves this because I mean, the wand is different. It, if you don't, if you're not careful, you can end up looking a little on the crazy side, okay? But if you are careful, it's really beautiful and it makes your lashes look so long and they just stand out so much when I wear this mascara. So highly recommend the Lash Freak. Uh, the Natasha Denone palettes. Typically always recommend these also, but in case, in case you're new here and in case you don't know, I really do love the Natasha Denona formula. Love the minis. This one's the mini glam, $25 on top of a discount. Like that's great. Uh, this one here is the Biba palette. Also a really big fan of the Biba and this one's $129. So I bought this on sale and with a gift card so there's a more pricier palette you know natasha pat any of those that you're interested in i mean it's always nice to get them with a discount and then also from charlotte tilbury her wands so this one here is the highlight wand and pillow talk i think a lot of these are like going out of stock because it's so funny they're like just now going viral on tiktok which means like so many people are buying them up i feel like tiktok is like not and i don't mean this in a rude way because I, I like tiktok and i watch makeup tiktok all the time but it's just so funny that it feels like it's kind of like behind YouTube time. Like there's things that go popular on TikTok that it's like, we've been talking about this on YouTube for years. Or like now there's all this controversy about like using filters. Remember that? Like, wow, I got, I got so many Reddit threads about me at one point about using a filter. And it was because I couldn't figure out my Sony A5100, which now I don't use, thankfully. Like, it's just funny. Like the things they talk about, I'm like, we've already, we, what? We've already discussed that. <laughs> so... Now, all of a sudden, everyone's talking about the Charlotte Tilbury wand. Uh, if you're not new, you know that I've been talking about these for a long time because they're so, so good. This uh, highlight wand is the one that I first fell in love with, but the contour wand is so good. Uh, and also the blush wand. I just purchased one of those recently also. So <laughs> these are fantastic. <laughs> I want to end it with some skincare recommendations. I do always enjoy some skincare recommendations. So uh, let's see, an older favorite. This is from Pharmacy, their Honey Potion Mask. I mean, I'm like scraping at this mask. I love it. I use it at least weekly, if not like twice a week. It's just very hydrating and I love that, especially if I've had a day where I've worn my mask like all day. I really enjoy going with for this one because I just feel like it brings the hydration back. So I'm a big fan. It is a warming mask. So I mean, with most skincare, you know, you would like to recommend a patch test, but especially with that, just to make sure I do have sensitive skin and it doesn't bother me. I also wanted to recommend this product, which I'm almost done with. This is from Wishful and this is the Yoglo Enzyme Scrub. Matches my shirt. I really like this one. I mentioned this recently in a video. Oh, I think I was talking about uh, Wishful just came out with the Yoglo Detox, which I'm also curious to try out. And I was saying that with this product, it got so much hate <laughs> uh, before it even launched. Like, just so many people were hating on it. I actually really like it. I usually include it in my skincare routine once a week because it is more exfoliating. I try not to over exfoliate my skin, especially with acne. Once a week, I feel like it really does my skin, you know? Technical terms. And I like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I feel like I'm about done with it. That's kind of sad. 
I'm gonna need another one. I also wanted to mention from Herbivore, this is their Retinol Alternative Smoothing Serum. I mean, if you can see, I've used a lot of this product and you don't need a lot of it. It is a thicker serum and uh, a little goes a long ways. There was a while where my doctor was recommending that I don't use retinol. There were some other prescriptions that I was using that retinol would just be like way too drying on top of everything. Um, so they recommended, you know, finding a retinol alternative. Uh, so that's why I grabbed this one from Herbivore. It is pretty pricey. I'm pretty sure that's like $54, so I would definitely recommend um, with a discount. But I feel like once I started using this regularly, you were still, I was still seeing the benefits of a retinol with like anti-aging and cell turnover and, and all of those good things. And also acne, helping keep my acne at bay. Uh, I feel like this one definitely helped out with that. So I will do um, a video, hopefully within the next couple of months here, kind of on my acne journey and what I learned and what I did to help it and all of the things, but definitely one of the skincare products that I benefit is this one right here. So if you wanna try something out or if you don't wanna use retinol or can't use retinol on your skin, uh, this could be a good alternative. I also wanted to mention this eye cream. This is from Saturday Skin, their avocado and date seed eye cream. So I've mentioned this recently in a makeup monthly and I talked about how much I enjoyed it. This is what I use in the AM because it is a little bit, um, like it almost feels a little bit more on the cooling side. It is a very lightweight, uh, gel-like consistency for an eye cream. And when I first started trying it, I kind of thought I would maybe want something a little bit thicker, but I think that's why I like it for the mornings because it kind of helps visibly like plump you up a little bit in the morning, which I really do appreciate. So I tried this on recommendation from my friend Ashley Clady, and I think that it's fantastic. This is another one where just the other day I had to pump it twice. So I think I'm probably starting to run a little bit low on this one, but it's been my AM eye cream for quite some time now. I just mentioned this product in my latest Makeup Monthly. I spoke really highly of it, and I know a lot of you said that you actually went and purchased it, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. This is from First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. So this is one of their new moisturizers, and if you can see, I mean, even from when I did the Makeup Monthly, there was like one little dot in there where I hit the bottom. This is like, we're starting to get some big scrapes in here. This is a really nice plumping product, so I actually wear it overnight. And when I wake up, I definitely feel a little bit more youthful than my full 34 years of age, which I do appreciate. It's a thicker um, moisturizer, which is why I do like to use it in the PM, uh, but it feels really hydrating. And once again, you can kind of see those more plumping benefits and especially like using it over time. I feel like things have been going real well for me. So highly recommend that one from First Aid Beauty. And then lastly from Biosense, I have their 100% squalene oil. This is a favorite ingredient of mine. I've been using squalene oil for quite some time. I also think this is something that's really helped with my acne journey because this is really great for hydration. I've talked in the past about actually cutting back on acne products and over exfoliating and really focusing on hydration and SPF. Biosense also has a really great SPF. Recommended it in the past. I actually purchased it in my last Sephora haul and I will have a video coming up on top SPFs. I think that's gonna go up on Tuesday. It's gonna be a YouTube short, which is just a one minute video. So I just talk about some of my top SPFs in there. Um, but I do mention the one from Biosense because I think that it's great. But I definitely, I mean, I've used quite a bit I don't even know if you can see. I've used quite a bit on my face. Just keeps everything nice and hydrated, so it's usually my last step in the PM. Or if I use my guasa, uh, this is the oil that I use for when I am doing that technique. So wanted to recommend that and the SPF, because that's important too, from Biosense. But other than that, that is it for today's video, my Sephora recommendations. I'll link everything down below. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my recommendations. Definitely let me know what you are planning to pick up from the sale. I will be doing a haul myself, so stay tuned for that. Other than that though, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.